Chelsea York, the Education Coordinator with the Georgia Forestry Commission, and today we're going to learn about tree cookies. This is a tree cookie. A tree cookie is simply a cross section or cross cut of a tree. What can you learn from a tree cookie? Let's go find out. So just like our trees, tree cookies come in many different shapes and sizes. This one's kind of heavy too. So what can we learn from a tree cookie? One of the main things that we learn from a tree cookie is how old the tree may be. And you can do this by counting the rings and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. You can also learn about its annual growth patterns and the environmental conditions. There are actually scientists out there who study tree rings and they're called dendrochronologists. By looking at a tree cookie, you can also learn about the different parts of a tree. Let's start with the cambium. This is a layer of cells that's just very, very thin inside the inner bark. The cambium produces the xylem and the phloem cells. And this is where the diameter growth occurs. Let's break that down a little bit. The phloem or the inner bark carries the sugar that's made in the leaves or needles down the branches, down the trunk and into the roots where it's converted into food for the tree. The xylem or sapwood carries sap, which is uh, water plus nitrogen and some minerals up from the roots to the leaves and it gives the tree strength. And the heartwood is the center part of the tree. The heartwood develops as the tree gets older. This part is older than your sapwood and no longer carries sap. It gives the trunk support and stiffness and makes it nice and strong. And lastly, on the outside of the tree, you find the bark. And the bark is what offers protection from insects and diseases. Looking at the tree cookie here, you'll notice that we have dark rings and light rings. first thing we want to do is find the little center dot. That's called the pith and that's where we're going to begin counting. This is going to be year one for our tree. So we're going to start there and for me it's easier to count the dark rings. So we have year one right at the center and then two, three, 16, 17, 18. This tree is roughly 18 years old. So if you're ever outside and look at a tree and go, hmm, I wonder how old you are. Just remember, by looking at a cross section or a tree cookie, now you can tell. But our foresters, they use this handy tool called an increment borer that takes a core sample of a tree. And they can tell the age of a tree without even having to cut it down. Thanks for joining us today. 